roll it. Welcome back to the podcast. It's Ask Rip time. So what we do when it's Ask Rip time is you turn in stupid questions to us on social media, you know, Instagram, Facebook. Is that still on the air? Yeah, it's Facebook MySpace is, that's not. MySpace is not. It's there. gone. Right. Do we take questions on Twitter, Nick, or not? Oh, we do? Why don't we do something wrong with Twitter? For Oh, because you forgot. Okay, well, so this time we're not taking Twitter questions, but sometimes we do. Do we not take MySpace questions? We do. Sometimes they get mailed in from MySpace. Do they? We got in envelopes and stuff? Okay. You know, I think Zuckerberg's a lucky son of a bitch. You know, how come MySpace went away and Facebook still persist like a wart on the ass of humanity i don't know it's a question for better that'll, people that'll get my account pulled down you just watch <laughs> yeah. your you ratings just, just got tanked. you just watch no <laughs> access just got tanked. <laughs> okay so what we're going to do now is begin to read questions brent j carter here is is reading the questions today that you have written i'm answering them unless it's a question about something i don't know anything about and then Brent J. Carter answers the question. If he doesn't know anything about it, we just throw it in the floor. So let's hear the first one. Community organizer one. Right. In addition to the surge reading 500 pound clean and press. 502. What are, they said 500. Already right? there's 500 a plus. They said 500 plus. So, oh, plus. You know, oh, okay. All right. What are the other great <clears throat> YouTube lifting videos? Uh, do you know if... Uh, Karwaski's thousand pound double yes. on YouTube. Yes, that is up that's, there. That's that's that stands out. God, if so you good. haven't seen anything, that's the damnedest piece of human <laughs> performance you've ever seen. You've got to watch that. You know, if you watch, there's a little that, person in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Hey. I, oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, you got to watch it again. Hadn't noticed it. I'll I'll go watch it here in a minute. He's and, not, uh, you know, just in comparison to Kurt Kowalski, it's legit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's one of the most astonishing things that you can watch. So, look that up. Other than that, oh, you know, I like the uh, the two sixty six uh, uh, clean and jerk. Uh, Taranenko. Taranenko's two sixty six mm -hmm. clean and jerk is just mm -hmm. you know you got to see that mm -hmm. heaviest weight ever been done in a competition. Uh, I like to watch Kurlovich. He's a fabulous lifter. I like to watch Pizarenko. Oh, God. He's what awesome. A, a amazing physical specimen. He looks like Burt Reynolds, eight Burt Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he does. Uh, <laughs> the guy is an impressive male human. And, uh, oh, other than that, I don't spend a lot of time on YouTube watching and lifting. I just, you know. Uh, but those are some good suggestions, All right? <clears throat> Who's next? Andre Ionescu asks, All right. has lifting ever gotten boring to you to the point that you said, for example, I'm just going to swim for the next six months and do nothing else? No. No, but not because lifting hadn't gotten boring, right. but because I don't like to swim. I haven't swum in a long time. Uh, you know, last time I went swimming, when was the last time I went swimming? Had to have been that time out off of North Carolina when I almost drowned. No wonder you don't like swimming. And I, I, I don't like swimming because, you know, it's hard to swim in contacts. And, mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't want to wash my contacts out, and I underestimated the surf, which is easy to do in the ocean. And, uh, you know, and I've swum a lot when I was younger, but I hadn't been swimming in a long time. I was like, you know, I'm not going to swim in a chlorinated pool. I'm not going to do it. I just hate it. I don't want to swim that bad. Why? Because I don't like the way it smells. And... Uh, but I know, you know, I know the, the latest thing is the salt water. That's right. Those are nice. I've never been in one. 
Those, you can open your eyes up underwater. Yeah. It's nice. I've never been in one. You know, I've never been invited. Don't have one of my own. I've been invited. To, nobody invites me to do anything. Yeah. I can swim or play canasta or, you know, dominoes or come over and eat. Nobody invites me to do anything. But they'll, uh, they'll Much ask less you questions. Swim. But they'll ask me questions because they feel entitled to do that. Millennials. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to hate them. Okay. So. Chris Lewis asks. Chris Lewis. What is your experience in teaching the squat and deadlift to novices with knock knees? Any advice? Uh, yell at them. Tell them to keep their knees out. And you know what they do? They keep their knees they out? They keep their knees out. And then pretty soon they don't have knock knees anymore. Isn't that isn't crazy? Isn't that funny? Isn't that odd how that works? Uh, he wanted me to say what special exercise, what right. corrective exercise. Well, you got the ones where you lay on your sides, you right? You do that and do the, and do the like hip that. adduction or right. the yes, yeah. no machine, mm -hmm. so, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of deal. That is uh, that's <clears> just, a, you know, standard nonsense. Mm -hmm. that the industry is riddled with. Yep. Corrective exercise for an incorrect squat mm -hmm. is a correct squat. Nolan Frozen asks, yeah. in, in the past... Some you've, foreign name. Yeah. No, it's not front round here. No. In the past, you've talked about working with horses. Yeah. How long have you worked with horses and how often did you ride? Is it worth it to become a farrier? Is that what you call it? Farrier. That's a farrier. man who puts shoes on a horse. Oh, okay. I was in the horse business a long time. About uh, 30 years. And uh, spent a lot of money on horses. Spent a lot of time horseback. I was a uh, whipper in for a fox hunt for about 11 years. I uh, uh, rode western, English. Uh, didn't shoe, didn't do any horse shoeing, but I know quite a bit about horses. I've made every mistake that can be made. I've gotten really, really badly hurt several times. Uh, and about 2002, after I finished rupturing my patellar tendon ACL graft, I decided I'd better not do this anymore because I was going to get hurt real bad because I can't just go out and walk around on the back of a horse. So mm -hmm. I got out of the horse business, and I have not been up in quite a while. Uh, but I was a decent rider, been all over the place, done all kinds of shit that I should not have done, and uh, taken lots of foolish chances I shouldn't have taken, and uh, had a lot of fun with it. But uh, too old don't bounce like I did anymore, if I ever bounced at all. And I got to work, so I had to quit. So, miss it. Miss it quite a bit. Michael Pembroke. Mm -hmm. Have you ever traveled down to New Zealand? If so, when and why? I have not. So, we got one more question. And we're out. Hey? Yeah, we're out. We're out. So, we got to drag this one out. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I don't think this will be very hard for you to drag out. All right, no, no, we, you know, it's so hard to think of things to say. Jack Bizet asks, "Yep, what music do you do you listen to when you train? Is there a particular song you always listen to before a big lift?" No, that's dumb. Dumb people do that. Uh, we listen to. Uh, we listen to a whole bunch of different stuff in here. I usually end up training late at night with my buddy Scott Davis, and, and we're both old guys. And we've got, oh, God, we've got a bunch of Beatles albums. Mm -hmm. We uh, uh, have a couple of Cold Blood albums. We play Government Mule. We like that end of the blues. We listen to Bonamassa. We listen to... Uh, what I have on the other night. We play some, you know, first three Chicago albums. We played 
Uh, first two Zeppelin albums are damned hard to beat. Uh, God, I just, what did I have in the pile in there I just dropped? Well, that's kind of, that's kind of the, along the lines that we, oh, Alan Parsons, got a bunch of, just got like five Alan Parsons albums. Alan Parsons, real quick. Uh, Turn of a Friendly Card, great album. Uh, so we'll listen to that kind of stuff. But, uh, uh, you know, old guy stuff. Uh, you know, I, I knew a guy a long time ago that would always, down at the YMCA, but every time he'd get ready to squat him, he had a tape player with him, and he'd play uh, uh, Super Tramp, Take the Long Way Home, you know, how the song starts. And he'd put that on. And I guess he thought he was like in a movie or something, mm. but he'd go and he'd squat heavy and take that out of the rack. And I always thought, what if he didn't have the dead? What if water. he didn't have the tape? Would we just deadlift today or what? <laughs> so I, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of tough to have a song you squat to. So anyway, I was going to say that Kurt Kowalski would listen to "I Want to Rock and Roll All Night," just the one song, just on repeat. May. While he's getting ready. Could be. I don't know. He never I, told me that. So can't I don't know where know. I heard that. I just can't but imagine getting worked up to that. People just, you know, get into in little patterns, you know. Yeah. Wear the same underwear every time they squat. So I guess we're out of questions. Yeah. Well, you know, whether we want to or not, we gotta go again. All right. They're tired of listening to this shit. We're tired of sitting here talking to each other. Yeah. So, thank you for joining us on the podcast. Thank you for listening to the this installment of Ask Rip. And next time there is a call for questions put out on social media, don't wait. Just throw it in there. We may make fun of it. We may answer it. You don't know, but it's worth a shot. Talk to you next time.